How's it going, guys? So, at this point, who's surprised? I made another bottle opener. Let me go ahead and grab it. So, this is the first bottle opener I made. This is the second bottle opener I made, side by side. And this is the third bottle opener I made. You can see this one's the smallest of them all, and I'll go ahead and focus on, on this one. Now, let me give some backstory. The reason I, I made this bottle opener two days ago, I think, the reason I didn't do the video then is because I was making a little stand for this uh, using my drill press like a lathe, just making a little stand to hold this up, and ended up getting my hand caught in a drill press. I ended up grabbing a piece of wood, and because I was wearing gloves, stupidly, my gloves got caught in the chuck and started to like rip and spin around like a scroll cinching down on my wrist, which was also holding my hand up against this drill bit that I was, I was actually drilling through a chunk of wood. So my hand was just grabbing this drill bit and it was cutting and just scorching my hand. Didn't feel too great. But anyways, one, two days and a trip to the ER later, here we are, bottle opener. Um. I don't know if I'm going to give any of these away as Christmas presents because there's a flaw with all of them. Um, these were just kind of practice. But you can see with this first one, um, I'll just go ahead and show you. This is not sponsored by this company at all. Let's go ahead and show off the first one. The first one, it doesn't really latch very well. So we got the second one, which latches decently, you know, it can catch a, a tooth pretty, pretty well, but not great. So now we have this third smaller one. You can see this one once I actually bent this part over with my hammer, I took a pair of vice grips and actually manually adjusted it. This one, hang on, I'm going to get a nice leverage. You can see. works like a charm and of course the reason I'm sitting there struggling is because yes I am weak and uh, I don't have any support for this of course if you had this sitting on a table it would be a lot better so this is the third bottle opener I've made it again it's a lot smaller it's a lot neater and cleaner the bottom looks kind of stupid but because I was practicing here you can see I was practicing um, cutting at my forge I have um, like a little hearty I made which is pretty crappy delicious I made a little crappy hearty and then I have like a wedge for splitting wood which I effectively use to split the metal and I was just practicing it because I'm tired of using my hacksaw to cut metal um, which segues into another thing but I'll probably make a separate video on that so anyways, um, oh, and another thing that happened while I was forging this, I was filming a video actively on how I forged this, a live forging video, and I had started to draw out my taper, and then my camera broke, and I had to finish this without being able to record it, which kind of sucks, but I'm hopefully going to be able to fix my camera, and then, well, right now I'm using a different camera, um, but I'm hopefully going to be able to fix my other camera, and then be able to finish that live forging video. But anyways, for now, I would... so I'm cutting the video now because my last outro was terrible. So I'm just going to film a, a better outro and then edit the two clips together. So anyways, have a great day. Bye.